Oliver, Cassia, Michael and Rihanna. Yeah. Five pampered kids with all of the clothes, gadgets and toys they could ever dream of. I'm happy that I've got everything. I'm the brand man. We've travelled nearly 2,000 miles from the Amazon city of Manaus to the wilds of the Mato Grosso do Sol to start work in the Brazilian beef industry. <laughs> oh. Can our kids cope on a cattle farm? You know how hard it is to manoeuvre with a wheelbarrow. And what will happen when they're asked to work in a meat processing plant? We've all just swinging meat all over the place. It's really overwhelming. Will anyone have an appetite for the work? They look really scared, but they don't look like they know what's happening. This is what our burger is. So that's our burger right there. Today, we are in the middle of nowhere. It looks like what you would expect in, like, cowboy films. In the Mato Grosso do Sol, Brazil's agricultural heartland. It certainly looks different, doesn't it, to back home? Yeah. It doesn't look very alive. <laughs> That's pretty dead. But this remote wilderness is where they'll be working. Our five kids are going to be spending some time in a ranch alongside cowboys, where they'll be trying to get to grips some of the cattle used in Brazil's booming beef industry. <laughs> First up, it's time to meet the owner of the farm, Andre. OK, guys, so the boss is en route. He's on his way. Here he comes. <laughs> Here's your boss. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Andre, how are you? Hi. Welcome to the Nossa Senhora das Graças farm. Here we work to produce the natural and best beef to send to Europe. Now, let's look the cattle, all okay. right? Okay. All right. Come on. Ooh. That's the cattle coming out now. Oh, that's so good. They've got funny humps on the neck. The cows are a tough breed called Nolore. Are the cattle dangerous? Well, that cattle is... 500 kilograms. I you think they dangerous? Yes, they dangerous. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go to the first job. It's the first opportunity to impress the boss. The kids will be working with his prize assets, his cattle. Whoa. Oh. They're waiting for us. Brazil is the world's biggest exporter of beef. There are around 250 million cows in the country, and looking after them is physical and demanding work. Will our kids be able to handle the herd? OK, your first job in the farm is to fill up the trough. So they have to fill up the entire trough with food for the cattle? Yes. The trough is over 100 metres long. All of it. Yeah? <laughs> it's a big trough. Yeah. Yeah. You can't even see the bottom clearly. Like, it just goes on forever. Yes. Feeding the cows is one of the most important jobs on the farm. They need to be at maximum weight before they are sold, and they are worth around £500 each. So no laziness, no moaning, no bickering. We've got to work together as a team. Let's begin. Woo! The group has been split into two teams. Ollie and Mally are removing the old food from the trough and taking it to the sheep. Oh, the sheep are in the way. Sheep! Go! Go, go, go! Ah, ah. It's hard work, like this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cassia, Michael and Rihanna are in charge of fetching the new feed. The cows are being fed a special mix that helps them gain weight, but the recipe is not impressing Michael. It's just sweet corn and sticks put in with loads of random stuff, like... Here, I saw a peg in there. The cows love this food, and the kids are going to have to move quickly to fill up the trough for them. So hard. We've only done about five, six metres, and I'm already shattered. It's gruelling work, but competitive Cassia is on a mission. Let's go, guys. Who's coming, Rihanna? I'll come with you. Back in the UK, dance champion Cassia is used to being number one. If I came home from a competition without any trophies, then I'd feel quite disappointed with myself. It's not about taking part, it's about winning. <laughs> I will be quite competitive when I get out there and I will want to win, like, most of the challenges. And so far, she's been promoted in every factory in Brazil. 
Congratulations, you are promoted. <laughs> you promoted. Thank you. Promoted. Thank you. And now she has her sights set on a fourth. I only get promoted today. I feel really gutted. Cassie's like the top person in the group. She's like the person that everyone wants to try and beat. Cassia is way too confident at times. I think today Cassia should be demoted or fired. This is she knows how it feels. It's not just Cassia hoping to make a big impression. <coughs> so are the boys. I think me and Matt are doing quite well. We're going quite fast. And we're working as a team. Ollie is yet to be promoted in Brazil. I think I'm going to get promoted. I'm going to focus and hopefully I'll do it. And Hello. Michael has an even bigger point to prove. Right, so if Cassie runs backwards and forwards, I'll go down with Cassie now and I'll quickly shovel it in. Go, 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 that'll go. work. Yeah, but I'll just go in. Go! So far, his work record has been disastrous. You look lazy. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. He has been demoted twice. Michael wasn't very good. You don't even have to say anything. You are demoted. And at the last factory, it got even worse. Who's fired? <laughs> Michael. <laughs> but this seems to be a new Michael. You know how hard it is to manoeuvre with a wheelbarrow? Michael's doing excellent, bless him. He's proper trying. Come on, Michael! Come on! No, he's actually proper getting into it, running around, so I think he's really good. <laughs> Our five are working amazingly well, and I'm so proud at how much effort they seem to be putting in, but this task has only just started, and they have got a long, long way to go. And that's not the only problem. The cows have started eating the food faster than the kids can bring it. They're getting closer. You've got to be hungry. The boss is trying to fatten them up, but the trough is nearly empty. Hello, Tim. <laughs> and now he wants a word with the group. You need to start again. <gasps> yes. Here. You are good, but you are slow. The cows are used to having the foods a lot quicker, so you just <laughs> have to go back from where you began and refill everything. Why? What? I'm not impressed whatsoever at all. It's just the reality of working in Brazil on a farm. Yeah. Come on, Michael, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Show me that enthusiasm! Come on, Michael, like you were at the beginning. How can I be enthusiastic now? Honestly, it's pathetic. How much my back's hurting? It's bad news for the kids, but how will they react to the setback? I'm feeling quite angry, but I think we still need to all try, and I think we might be able to do it. Finish our task, or at least never start something if you're not going to finish it. I'm fuming, absolutely fuming. Just all our hard work's gone to nothing. Right, come on. Positive attitude, positive attitude. Positive attitude, Rihanna. Up, upwards is the way. The moment seems like we're going downwards. Michael, honestly, just try, otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. I've been demoted twice, I've been fired. I don't well, see the point in trying anymore. Come on, please, for us. For us, please, Michael, come on. And if I get demoted, I won't be happy. Eventually, Michael is coaxed back to work. Everyone has reacted very differently to the challenge, but now the boss needs the two best workers to help him with another tough job. Well, good job. Thank you. He's very happy with yes. all of your work, yeah. but two of you have shone. Who are those two? Well, Cassia, please, and Ollie. All right, all right, all right, all right. Please, please, please. So, do you two want to follow us? We'll show you where you're going to be working. See you guys. Right. See you guys soon. Ollie is thrilled he has his first promotion and Cassia has bagged her fourth. Come on. But once again, Michael has missed out. I'm really annoyed. I am pleased that I made an effort, but to be honest now, I don't think it was worth it. Go with me. I think you performed so well and you should be proper proud of yourself. Because you know I'd tell you if, you, if I thought you did rubbish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'll get on with it then. Carry on. Let's get yeah, all yeah, in this together. Over in the horses' stables, the boss has another physical task for his two hardest workers. Come on, please. Okie dokie. Yeah. 
OK, boss, so very simply, can you tell our two what they need to do next? Well, guys, your job is clean the horse table, right? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So you've got to get yourself in that box, clean out all the poo, all the dirt, all the filth, and this has got to be left spotless. Yeah. Okay. okay. I know it doesn't sound like an obvious promotion, but you're now in the stables, which is a step up. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Oh, it stinks, isn't it? I was expecting, like, driving a tractor or something. I wasn't really expecting shoveling up poo. It's a mucky task, but as usual, Cassia gets stuck in. This isn't the promotion I expected, but I used to do horse riding when I was younger and I used to have to do it all the time anyway. And nothing can ruin the moment for Ollie. So, Ollie, how does it feel being promoted for the first time? So good. Are you glad? Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> it smells delicious. I know. As Ollie and Cassia finish up at the stables, Michael and Rihanna are on their way to meet a family who live and work on the farm. Hello. 15 year old Paola, her mum Nena, the farm cook, and father Paolo, who is a farmhand. Paola's keen to show the kids her bedroom. It's really nice in here. We have similar bedrooms. I have loads of pictures of me and my friends on my wall, too. Ah, see. <laughs> After school, Paola works for four hours a day on the farm. <laughs> Who pays for your things? Do your mum and dad buy you everything? No. No, I pay for it. I bought the mirror and the wardrobe. I buy all my stuff. You have to buy your own wardrobe and carpet. No way. <laughs> you obviously you work hard to get your stuff in your bedroom. I've never worked in my life. <laughs> When I come back from school, I look after the house, I wash the dishes, I do everything, and then, over the weekend, I help my mum cooking lunch. I won't do any chores. <laughs> it's for my mum to do. <laughs> One day, my mum told me to mow the lawn, and I told her that it was her grass, so she had to do it herself. <laughs> No, I would never talk back to my mum like that. And I never intend to, because I don't want to see her reaction. The kids may be laughing, but before Michael and Rihanna leave, Mum Nena stops them for a word. Can I be honest? From the little I heard of you talking, you seem spoiled. You have things very easy for you. Here things are very different. We teach them to work to get what they want. I feel really, like, lazy. Because <laughs> mum does everything for me. When I go back home, hopefully I'll do better and I'll help my mum. You can only gain from that. You have to do it, not just to say it. <laughs> Keep your word. You have to keep your word. I feel like I've had a proper telling off, though, by her mum. I was so speechless at one point. Nice meeting you. I didn't know what to say because she was just totally honest. She definitely got a point yeah. across to me, like, I understand where she's coming from now. Of course. Now they have seen all sides to this farm, I have some news for them about tomorrow. OK, team, first day over. Yeah. First day at the farm, finished. The day has been perfect on the farm. This is the first time that we all put like, our hearts and souls into it and really, really tried. Yeah, I'm really glad for Ollie and Cassia again to be promoted. <laughs> I would have liked to be, but, yeah. Now, I know you've all had a really enjoyable experience here, but tomorrow we are not going to be coming back to the farm. No! Oh. Oh, Why? Yes. Why not? Tomorrow... I'm going to be bringing you all to an abattoir. Isn't that where they kill the animals? The slaughterhouse. Oh, oh you horrible. It's cruel. We all eat burgers, we all love meat. Maybe it's worth seeing how it gets on your plate. I'm just looking forward to coming back here. The kids are shocked. Tomorrow, they will be seeing a very different side to the beef industry. It's the morning of day two. Yesterday, our five got to grips with cows on a cattle farm. Today, they will be working in a meat processing factory handling raw meat. 
This place is where they kill and then process between three and 500 cows every single day. This really could be a massive shock to the system. Every year, 40 million cows are killed and processed in factories just like this one. The various cuts of beef end up in restaurants, shops and supermarkets all around the world. It's a messy business and I'm hoping our kids are cut out for the work. Before we head into the factory, the kids have asked boss Andre to take them to see the cattle. It couldn't feel more different from the farm and Cassia is already on edge. It's not something you see every day, is it? No. So it is a bit difficult. That one escaped. You just, oh. Okay, Cass? Yeah. You all right, Cass? And then a worker comes to take the cows inside. You shout at them. The kids are shocked, and for Cassia, it's all become a bit much. Oh, this look, they look really scared, but they don't know. They don't look like they know what's happening. Is that what's upset you? You think they don't know what's about to happen? Yeah. So you feel sorry for them. Seeing all the cows and just watching them go into that coronal thing. I don't, oh, I don't want to cry though. I don't even know why I'm crying. Cassia, don't be ridiculous. Listen, you're so brave to be here to even try and understand how this all works. I think this is part of our relationship with the animals. We take care of them. They have a good life. The way I think about it is like sheep are there and cows are there for us to eat. So if we didn't eat them, then they wouldn't sort of exist. All right, Cass, it's a cuddle. You can guarantee well fire. I think this is the biggest shock I've had in coming to Brazil. This is what our burgers are. That's our burger right there. I just think, oh, you get it from the butchers, done, on the plate, roast dinner. I never knew it was like this. In this factory, the cows are killed instantly and as humanely as possible under the supervision of a vet. The kids won't be seeing that, but things are going to get tougher. You're going to be all right to go in there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, come on then. They are about to start work in the meat processing plant. Let's do it. Hey, guys. Everyone's so bloody on their t-shirts. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything like this in your entire life? Every month, around 10,000 cows are processed here in the factory. <laughs> the room is freezing and the work is mucky. How will our kids cope? I'm still going to try my hardest, so I don't want to waste the meat, otherwise that's a cow being killed for no reason. All the meat is processed by workers on a production line. But before our kids can join them, Boss Andre wants to see who is up for the job. OK, guys, so in front of you is the meat that you're going to be working with for your first task here at the abattoir. And now I show you the different cuts of meat. The kids each have to find six different pieces of steak decide what cuts they are and bag and label them. First, the boss shows them what each cut looks like. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. If they can prove they can handle the meat, they will be allowed to join the production line. Like other workers in the factory, they must learn to pick up the meat with clean, bare hands. I don't love it, but you're just going to have to get used to it. I'm trying to think of it more as meat than an animal. First up, thermal jackets. And then the task begins. You're going to get going. I can't imagine being in here every day. It's just disgusting. No one likes it, but Michael and Rihanna aren't even trying. I do I really want to touch it. 
because we saw them alive and now it's the dead. I actually don't even know which one's which, so I'll just probably stick any label on any bit of me. I couldn't care less. Despite Cassia's earlier upset, she is powering on through. I think I'm doing really well, considering how I was this morning. Sure? I'm trying to just get on with it. So our team has just started and it's a very mixed bag. Cassia's telling herself this hasn't come from an animal. Ollie seems to be getting stuck in. Michael and Brianna don't want to touch the raw meat. And Melly seems quite calm about the whole thing. Go in. Put in my last meat in the bag. 20 minutes in, Ollie and Cassia have already found their six cuts. Andre, I finished. Oh. 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 Tried to do the job as fast as I could, so I didn't have to keep on touching the meat. But Michael and Rihanna are still struggling. I haven't even touched any meat yet. Rihanna has developed an unusual technique for handling the meat. And Michael is only just getting to grips with his first piece. I don't like this job at all. Worst one yet. And after missing out on a promotion yesterday, he isn't in the mood for the job. Is any random sticker? Can I wash my hair? Oh, you're in the bag. Couldn't care less which meat it is. One. I'm done. That's mine. I'm done. What are you up to, Michael? I don't understand it at all. It's too complex. I wouldn't bring you in here if I didn't think you were capable. This is something you can do. You just need to try a bit yeah. harder and have a better attitude. If Michael doesn't finish, he won't be allowed to join the production line. This is a Buchanan. So have you got your sticker? You know, it's frustrating when you say you can't do this, because you can. You can do it really well. But with a bit of a helping hand, he manages to wrap up the job. If you can get on very well with the first task, I had a really bad head, so I just try to just get over and done with. I thought yesterday he changed, but he, but he hasn't. He gets not given up on himself, and that's what Michael always does, but he shouldn't, because if he didn't give up and didn't like, think, oh, no, I can't do this, then he'd actually be quite good, I think. After a quick scrub down, it's back inside. Michael may have struggled earlier, but by the end, he did complete the job. <laughs> So the boss has decided to give them all a chance to work on the real production line alongside the experienced workers. Three behind me, they're packing the raw meat, and then we've got Ollie and Mally vacuum packing. The most important thing is that they all keep up with all the other workers here in the abattoir. Rihanna, Cassia and Michael have to grab the meat from the conveyor belt, label it correctly and bag it. While Ollie and Mally vacuum pack the bagged up meat using a specialist machine. It's a fast and furious pace, and I'm hoping Michael will give it his all. This is your last chance to prove yourself in this factory. Yeah? Three. Ollie and Mally are trying, but they are finding the vacuum packing machine difficult. Not done. No. Do it again. They are not sealing the bags properly and the meat is piling up. Really important that you speed up. Yeah, it still needs to be done correctly, but it needs to be done a lot quicker. But back on the meat conveyor belt, Cassia and Rihanna are flying. I I've got used to handling meat now. It's going good. We are keeping up. I'm finding it quite easy, even though we're on the production line now, we've got to keep up with the speed. Thank you. And soon, Ollie and Mally have got the hang of the machine. Yes! I think me and Mally are getting on quite well, and we're doing it quite fast. I'm really enjoying the episode. And for the first time, Michael is keeping up with the pace. Michael's off to a very slow start again, but you see he has improved. You know, I think he has improved. With the whole team finishing on a high, Three, two, one, go. the boss calls an end to the shift. Hey, guys. OK, guys, finish. Back at the 
farm, it's time to find out if anyone's done enough to take home a wage. OK, so how are you all feeling? We're back at the farm. I'm happy to be back at the farm, cos this is where I got my first promotion. <laughs> Do we all prefer it to the yeah. abattoir? Yeah, definitely. I think you all did amazingly well, and I was very proud. Um, Andrea's going to talk through how he feels um, the last couple of days have gone. Cassia, you are so fast, but sometimes you are too fast, all right? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think sometimes I go a bit too fast. You have, Oli, a good attitude, and always you are enthusiastic. It's very good, this. Michael, yesterday you were fast and strong. I nearly promoted you yesterday. I nearly promoted you. you but today, you don't stay in the focus. Mm -hmm. I understand. A little. I, I don't know why. I mean, today, I think I let myself down a bit, but I was really proud of myself yesterday. Well, Andrea, you have seen our five in action over the past couple of days. Would you employ Cassia? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mali? Yes. <laughs> Oli? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Rihanna? Yes. Oh? Yes, Rihanna. <laughs> yes. Oh. Would you employ Michael? Yes, Michael. <laughs> 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 What a surprise. So, 40 for you, Michael. Thank you. At last, Michael has earned a wage, and it's a clean sweep for our five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we leave the farm, Michael and Rihanna want to make one last visit. Bye. Bye. To say goodbye to Paula and her mum, Nena. We really took into consideration about what you said. Yeah, really I think did. I think it got to us what you said, and it, we really took it on board. We went to the abattoir today, and we thought about what you said last night, and we worked really well, me and Michael. We got a wage, we got paid, and um, we thought it yeah. through, and we'd like to give it to you to spend some like money on yourself to treat yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Can I hug you? Oh. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Obrigado. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Next time on Show Me What You're Made Of, we are in the baseball cap capital of the world. Can they work as a team in one last factory? I'm going to let the whole team down. You're not listening to me, are you? No. And what happens when they hear from home? Oh, Lee, I've not even said anything yet. Meet Mally, Oliver, Cassia, Michael and Rihanna. Hiya. Five pampered kids with all of the clothes, gadgets and toys they could ever dream of. I'm happy that I've got everything. I'm the brand man. We've travelled nearly 2,000 miles from the Amazon city of Manaus to the wilds of the Mato Grosso do Sol to start work in the Brazilian beef industry. <laughs> oh. Can our kids cope on a cattle farm? You know how hard it is to manoeuvre with a wheelbarrow? And what will happen when they're asked to work in a meat processing plant? People are just swinging meat all over the place. It's really overwhelming. Will anyone have an appetite for the work? They look really scared, but they don't look like they know what's happening. This is what our burgers are. That's our burger right there. Today, we are in the middle of nowhere. It looks like what you would expect in, like, cowboy films. In the Mato Grosso do Sol, Brazil's agricultural heartland. It certainly looks different, doesn't it, to back home? Yeah. It doesn't look very alive. <laughs> That's pretty dead. But this remote wilderness is where they'll be working. Our five kids are going to be spending some time in a ranch alongside cowboys, where they'll be trying to get to grips with some of the cattle used in Brazil's booming beef industry. <laughs> <laughs> First up, it's time to meet the owner of the farm, Andre. Okay, guys, so the boss is en route, he's on his way. 
Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> Here's your boss. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Andre, how are you? Hi. Welcome to the Nossa Senhora das Graças farm. Here we work to produce the natural and best beef to send to Europe. Now, let's look the cattle, all right? Okay. All right. Come on. Ooh. That's the cattle coming out now. Oh, that's so good. They've got funny humps on the neck. The cows are a tough breed called Nolore. Are the cattle dangerous? Well, that cattle is 500 kilograms. I you think they dangerous? Yes, they did. <laughs> OK, guys, let's go to the first job. It's the first opportunity to impress the boss. The kids will be working with his prize assets, his cattle. Whoa. Oh, they're waiting for us. Brazil is the world's biggest exporter of beef. There are around 200 and 